What's going on, YouTubers? Welcome to another video. So today we got the Chronicle Jurassic Park Hammond Cane. So I have been looking to get a Hammond Cane for quite some time, honestly. What I want to do is wall mount it right there next to my rotunda. I got a little cane that came with my Indominus Rex I put there on the base, and I really like that, but I want to get a cane. I feel like that's one thing I really needed to get for a really sick-looking Jurassic Park prop replica. And the Chronicle made a fantastic one. You know, there's lots of like customs out there. They usually run for 100 to 150 bucks, but they don't look quite as good as this one. And they don't have a base, you know, like a wall mountable, like nice Jurassic logoed base. There are some that had a base, but they were more expensive. And I didn't like it quite as much as this one. But this one was very expensive. And it usually, it retailed for $350 plus shipping. So, you know, on eBay, if you're going for retail, you're looking at $400. No plus shipping and tax. I waited a long time because I did not want to pay that price. I didn't think it was worth that. As you know, Chronicle Collectibles went out of business. And at the very beginning when they went out of business, they basically sold everything off at a very cheap rate on eBay. That's when I actually bought some some statues. I bought their Rappling Raptors and I bought some other things. But I got very cheap, you know, m way under retail. And now we finally got this. I don't know if this came from Chronicle directly. I don't think so. It's not from Texas. Uh, but I got it for 100 bucks, which is a still, in my opinion. Definitely worth that. And they did have three of them. All $100, uh, more or less. Although it was on bid, but they all three sold. Uh, someone outbid me on the first two, and then the third one, no one bid outside of me. So I just got, I got the cheapest. So $99 plus tax. You know, and tax was like 7 bucks. So 107 total. They shipped it same day, arrived two days later. So here we have it. Very excited. Let's open this box. Alrighty, upon taking uh, this box open, we are greeted with a colored art box that has some like dinosaur fossils and then here is the cane and it talks about it so yeah uh here is the box let's get this open Alrighty, and here is what's inside the styrofoam so immediate thoughts it does feel a little bit smaller than anticipated which is fine uh you know there's not a lot of space over there anyways Let's see, is this really a life-size cane? Uh, I don't know, you tell me. It feels kind of short for like a cane. But it does look great. Let's get out of this wrapping. Alrighty, so got everything out of the box. So this thing measures 33 inches long. And you got this little 6-inch wide Jurassic Park uh, this feels maybe like polystone. Uh, and it has this little thing that holds it. One nail hole, so easy to wall mount. I got number 87 of 1,000. This is officially licensed. So being licensed, it should be 100% accurate to both size and look. I don't know exactly how long this is in real life. But when you look at uh, you know the movies, he more or less is holding it down below his waist, so I do believe this is accurate in size. Now this does not feel super sturdy. I would not use this as a cane. It is purely a prop replica not to be used as a cane because if you put any amount of weight, this thing will snap. So it does actually say Universal Studios right here, which is uh, interesting. I will face it probably so you don't see that. I'm not sure if why it would show that. Uh, here is the mosquito inside. It has almost like red wings and whatnot. Looks good. And this is uh, like a white wood with lots of black, almost scrapes. Has some aged weathering to it. Looks pretty good. Uh, then this is the bottom part, you know, like a typical cane. So yeah, here it is. So we're gonna go ahead and wall mount this bad boy. So as you can see, it's not even as tall as this shelf. There's a quick side-by-side -side next to the little one. So as you can see, so yeah, we're basically, it's actually nice this isn't too long. So now I can just 
more or less wall mount this right here. So I'm gonna go quickly install that. Only one nail, so it'll be very quick. And this isn't heavy at all, so it should be completely fine. Already YouTubers. So here it is wall mounted. Now it's very easy to wall mount. Uh, they did actually include a little screw with it, but it was like, I swear like half an inch and I would never use that one. It's way too small. Uh, but I got my own, installed it. Doesn't weigh a lot, easy to install. Uh, this thing, uh, you just have to insert it sideways and then twist it in. Uh, a little slightly tricky. It does slightly block the logo, but that's fine. The logo does look great, and I do like the overall wall mount. Best wall mount for uh, Dr. Hammond Kane. Yeah, I will say I'm definitely happy I only paid $100, because if I paid $350 or $400 for this... I would feel ripped off. Like, I don't honestly know how in the world Chronicle was charging that much for this. This definitely feels like, you know, a hundred to hundred and fifty dollar, you know, prop replica. You know, I own a lot of props, and I would say like max I would want to pay for this is maybe like one fifty to two hundred. Uh, but I'm very happy I got it for a hundred bucks. I think it's definitely worth that. Uh, it overall does look great and complements the wall for sure. Have a nice prop. Uh, that wall is no longer empty. Complements Rotunda, you know, right behind the Jurassic Park Blu-ray collection and everything. So, looks great. That Mosquito Amber thing is not perfectly round just here where it is. Kind of odd shapes or some flat parts and whatnot. I wouldn't say the Mosquito is necessarily directly in the middle either. But overall, it looks good. And this is, uh, you know, fully licensed. I guess Universal Studios also licensed this as well. Maybe they hold the Jurassic Park license. And that's why it does have that logo. Because it says on the back, licensed by Universal Studios. So I did uh, display it so it doesn't show that. Because honestly, I don't want to see that on the cane. That's kind of annoying they put that there. You know, it. No, the original cane did not have that, obviously. So... It does display obviously out and then it hits the wall like that. So it caves in a little bit. Uh, it's not just dangling down, which is completely fine. Uh, it overall does look fantastic though. So I am happy with it. And I would suggest if you could get this for under 200 bucks and you collect Jurassic Park, it's definitely an ideal prop replica you wanna get. So yeah, that was the finishing touch I needed for my Jurassic Park collection so i am happy with this overall i'd probably rate this a seven out of ten for a prop replica based off the price you know another props i got that i think are necessities are like this velociraptor claw is freaking awesome this came with my spinosaurus you know and Really, I mean, there's not too many props for Jurassic Park. I don't have a Barbasol can, and honestly, I think I might get one to display with him. You know, put it back there. <laughs> Next time I buy a shave, you know, I'll just buy a Barbasol one. There's, like, official Jurassic Park ones as well. But, yeah, here it is, Chronicles Kane. Now, as far as the next statues that are arriving, folks, so... Vision Bus, I did pay it from Spec, but I guess Spec changed the way they charge things. They now bill you 45 days in advance, or at least give you 45 days. I guess that's a good like heads up, like, hey, this is charging in 45 days. Although, I still would prefer they just charge me and ship me the next day. So Vision Bus should be shipping uh, in a few weeks. Uh, I got Infinity Studios Wonder Woman bust in route. Uh, so that should arrive towards the end of August. I got Infinity Studios Trunks 1 4th. Uh, we got Motaro Custom, which is likely the next statue to arrive. And then I do got a prop replica that I'm going to replace that with. I don't like that. Legolas has not even shipped yet. It's been paid for. But m more than likely, Motaro will be the next one. Uh, as well as Vision Bust. So those will be probably within the next week or two. But yeah, there it is, folks. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.